What's up guys? Welcome back. It's not really a normal video today. It's been a really kind of crazy week. I guess today's video is more for like subscribers. It's like a channel update. What's going on? Um, kind of why there's no video, even though this is a video. Like, so this week's video is about how there's not really a... Let's back up. Dude turn one, so we had a birthday party. We built a fort for the kids but it collapsed. It rained pretty much every day last week, except for a couple hours. So I mowed my grass. Marion finished her school year out. She's a teacher, so she moved everything into the house. So the house is a disaster. I couldn't even show you guys all that. That'd just be embarrassing. I worked on a lot of bikes. And then even more bikes showed up. Still, still really busy, apparently. Full day's work. Got new shirts. Look, no armpit hole. <laughs> So why do I even bring all this stuff up? Well, because sometimes the universe aligns perfectly for an awesome YouTube video to come out. And sometimes the universe aligns and, well, I just don't have time to make one. I'll explain more in depth at lunchtime. Because right now, it's time to go to work. I knew I thought something sounded, sounded off. Someone didn't watch uh, John Maxwell's exhaust install video. I'm just saying. So how is it that I'm making a video about how I'm not making a video? Let's take lunch. We'll figure out what I'm actually talking about here. Mm -hmm. Oh man, what happened here? Let's see, Let me fix some stuff. That's not quite there. A uh, little, yeah, like that. I don't know, that was weird. Anyway, what I'm trying to say here is that there's a certain like quality video that I want to put out and normally I, I have a, some time to plan I have some time to film I have some time to edit a lot of time to edit it's my favorite part that's what makes this like a hobby because otherwise I'm just watching myself work which is a really weird thing to do in your spare time but it's entertaining, it's fun, it's, it's cool to, to interact with you guys, to answer questions in the YouTube comments, on the Facebook page, all that stuff, but I'm really backed up on, on responding, on, on all the interaction part, because I've been so busy lately. So I guess that's, yeah, I didn't, I, I, hadn't, I hadn't planned anything this week. I mean, I tried, I came in early to, to film some ideas. I got here, I'm in at nine this week, or last week when I would normally film this week's video, if that makes sense. I got it here at eight one day and there were, there were people waiting and we are busy. <laughs> I guess that's kind of what I'm saying. Like, I want this to be huge. I, I think it can be huge. It's, it's 40,000 subscribers strong. I don't mention that uh, very often, like where we're at on growth and stuff, but we've been doing this September, eight or nine months. So that's, that is really cool. And I want to deliver, like, if you subscribe, you like the video, you, you are, I do this for you guys. I want to deliver a quality product that takes time. This week, I didn't really have any. I want to make time to say thank you when the Vapor Hut sends me really cool stuff. Beach ball in there, some coaster stickers, Vapor Hut's most wanted vape juices. 10 of them in here, that is awesome. That's like, I, I can't even, I just hope that I'm that I'm portraying my thankfulness enough. Like I, I got big plans, I want new, I got new video ideas like uh, a Q&A for, for all the questions I don't have time to answer. Maybe that's a video topic I can do, but then I still have to have time to actually like film it and edit it and everything. Woo hoo! Dude, check this out. Poker chips from Vicenza, Italy. All sorts of stuff from, who is this from? 
Casey, Sergeant in the U.S. Army. Thank you, Casey, for your service. Ha! Casey picked the colors of the chips based on my bikes. Yellow for the sporty and red for the soft tail. That's very thoughtful. See, so that's kind of my point though. I, man, that is, that's awesome. What do you guys think about a Q&A episode? Like, for, for example, just so you guys know what I'm talking about here. I have 73 Facebook notifications, um, 15 new emails, and two Instagram that I think I was, I think I, every like two days I try to go on there. So that's two days worth of, of stuff. And what happens is I end up sitting down at the computer. I like Facebook more because I can like type out responses. Instagram, I, I guess you have to use your phone. The website's not very, I'm still new to all this uh, social media stuff. Yeah, like two days ago, I responded to a bunch of stuff and then we're back up pretty high again. I feel bad not responding kind of crazy. So I want you guys to know that I do see them and I want to be able to respond, but what happens is I'll sit down and I'll, I'll respond to a bunch of emails and Facebook pages and all that stuff, uh, Facebook notifications. And, and then I realize that it's, it's too, it's late. I don't have time to edit now. Not that I had anything this week to edit, but you see what I'm saying. Here's one just, it actually just came uh, this morning, but it's the first one I saw. Um, Diane has a, 15 road glide special. She wants to go to a tri-glide, but she really likes the road glide fairing. Can one be installed? Well, Diane, yes, it can. But time and money can make anything happen, and that's pretty much how swapping bat wing to fixed fairing and vice versa. Those fairings are, they're rough. Bracketry, harness, like just so many knickknacks you don't even realize. Hardware alone, because different hardware holds it all together. And that's on top of like the actual painted parts purchases. Like on the surface, it's gonna cost you $1,800, $2,000 in painted parts, but there's still not even a way to mount it. There's not labor involved yet. There's, I mean, it would probably be cheaper or the same cost to trike out the road glide you already have. So this video came from nothing. I had no plan. I had, I guess I know how a daily vlogger might feel because this morning I got, got fan mail. Thank you guys. Got one Q and A answered. Solid. Fixed the muffler this morning. See it wasn't tight. Seems like there's some other stuff. Oh yeah. I'm also down a day of editing this week because I'm actually going out of town for a whopping one day. Seems like somebody hit me up saying they were coming through town this week and they wanted to stop and say, hey, it's the first time I've ever had to be like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm out of town. But anyway, I'm losing a day of editing for the video because I will be watching my little sister uh, graduate high school, which is kind of crazy to think that I have a little sister young enough to graduate high school. Even crazier to think that there's another little sister even younger than she is. So as far as question and answers go, part of my so part of my point is that I'm a really busy dude. Um, and most of my messages and emails and stuff, they say, hey man, I know you're busy. And which is awesome. Those are the ones I really want to respond to. A lot of my questions can actually be found pretty easily elsewhere. A lot of them in the description of the video that they are watching. So I don't mind responding and, and answering questions that are super simple for me to answer, but I do feel bad if somebody sits around waiting for like two days for me to respond to something that they could have responded, you know, they could have already had the answer to. What's up, man? I think maybe we'll go through some other things, some, some helpful um, ways to find like super easy information, maybe in the future. Maybe a Saturday video, even though nobody ever seems to really watch those. Except the Bell Squad. What's the Bell Squad, you ask? Well, those are the dudes that not only hit the subscribe button, but they also tap the bell notification. So, if you haven't done so already, you should probably do that now. If you like this video, give it a big dirty thumbs up, and I will catch you guys in the next one.